Hello folks, it's Abfielder here back with another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can improve our frames per second. Now I am extremely lucky, I play on a very beefy PC, it's got a 3080 in it so even with vanilla the game is playable for me but at the moment in the top left hand corner you can see I'm on around about 70 frames per second pretty acceptable but if I start flying now imagine I had an elytra you can see how quickly that drops below 60 we're down to 40 we're down to 30 if I sort of turn quickly we get down low as low as here we go 11 frames per second even on a 3080 now this weekend or this week I in fact I was away I was playing on an old laptop I brought it a few years ago never brought it with gaming in mind so it was cheap at the time and honestly Minecraft was unplayable with the default settings so we're going to take a look at what we can do with the, the vanilla game and improve our frames per second. And then we're going to take a look at what we can do with mods as well. So let's have a look at the vanilla settings. If we go into options and then into video settings here, there are some, some things we can change. Now you can see I've got the graphics on fabulous. You can also have fast and fancy. So if we lower them down to fast, Let's check this out. Now we're on 80 frames per second. Let's head in this direction because this seems to be quite uh, stressful on the frames per second. And we're down to 30, 42, 34. We dropped as low as 20. We went as low as 11 before. So we went down to 20, 17. But we improved it a little bit, not massively, but quite a big difference. So on a low end PC, that may make even more difference just by changing your graphics options from fancy or fabulous back down to fast. Now, uh, the, the flip side of that is it just does change some of these like leaf textures, for example. I just demonstrate this in options, video settings. We go to fabulous and then exit out. See how they become more transparent. If we go back and just do that again, back to fast this time, see how they're no longer transparent. So you do lose a little bit of the, the nice graphics that you get with Minecraft by doing that but that is one thing you can do now if we go escape options video settings we can turn down smooth lighting we can turn it off minimum or maximum so we're going to turn it to off and let's fly in this direction again in fact while we're doing all this i'm going to set my do daylight cycle to false for now so we're at 70 on frames per second let's fly in this direction as we load these chunks up this seems to be the worst place and we went down to 20 before and we're, down to, and we're down to 20 again. So not a massive difference with smooth lighting, but it might make a little bit of a difference. But you can see the game's just not quite as nice, but I mean, these are the things you have to do if you're on a lower end PC. So yeah, light settings don't seem to make a huge amount of difference, but it's something that's worth experimenting with. I would imagine in certain scenarios that will make a difference. So what else can we do? We've got the brightness on default. We've got clouds on fancy. Let's turn those off and see what they do. So we're up at around 90 frames per second. That seems to have made a little bit of a difference. No clouds. And let's fly in this direction. We're down to 30 frames per second, 40. So clouds, we're down to 32. We don't seem to have dropped as far. So that seems to have made a decent difference, just turning clouds off. So that's something worth remembering. So there we go, down to 35, down to 29, but we haven't dropped quite as far. So with clouds off, the graphic settings down to fast and smooth lighting turned off. We're now, we're starting to stabilize our frame rate. We're not getting quite as big a drop as we were before. We go back into options. So we can turn particles down to decrease. Sometimes people do this anyway. Now this isn't gonna make a big difference in this settings, but there's not a lot of particles. But if you have got like particle effects, like you've got uh, haste two, for example, beacon effects or potion effects, that might make a difference to your frames per second. So it's worth keeping in mind. Next thing we can do in video settings, um, we've got most things on there. We can turn off entity shadows. That will make a minor difference. We can turn off or turn down entity distance. That may make a difference as well. Although we shouldn't have a lot of entities here. Let's check this out. We've changed a couple of settings there. We're down to 40 as we go through here. And let's really sort of try and annoy this game and get it uh, get it working hard. See, it's no longer dropping to, to 20. So we've made some really big improvements, even on a, a 3080 PC, down as low as 36, but that's a lot better than 20. Trust me, it's a lot smoother. 
Right, now the next big thing that you can change in vanilla Minecraft is the number of chunks you are loading. We go into video settings and we look at this render distance. We've got render distance and we've got the simulation distance. Let's turn this down to eight. Here we go. This is probably the biggest change. You see, we're already up at like 100 frames per second, 80, 110. Obviously, our view distance is now a lot more limited. But look at the change of that, 77, 69. Isn't that, that's just a massive difference just in vanilla Minecraft, like nowhere near the drop as before. We went as low as 48 frames per second then, but nothing like 20 before or 30. We go this way and we're loading in some pretty intensive terrain here, very hilly terrain, and absolutely loads, loads better. There we go. So view distance is probably the biggest setting you can change. I mean, that's absolutely, that's very, very playable. So that, if you're on a low end PC, like I was during the week, can make a huge, huge difference. You can turn it down even further. You can temporarily turn it up if you uh, you need to see something. But if we get down as low as four chunks, I mean, I wouldn't want to personally play on four chunks, but some people might have to. Um, we're up at 120 frames per second. I've got the frame limit at 120 frames per second on here. That just smooths out some of the spikes a little bit. But you see, we're not even dropping below 100. Now we're down on four chunks. That does make flying a lot more difficult, folks. So there we have it with vanilla Minecraft, how much we can improve the uh, just the, the number of frames per second just by changing those settings and make Minecraft playable. So what we're going to do next is we're going to set these settings pretty much back to normal and we're going to have a look at using fabric and using fabric mods to improve our frame, frames per second. So let's set this back up to 12. Let's set this to fabulous. Let's put smooth lighting back on maximum. Let's put these back on. Let's put entity shadows back on. Let's put entity distance back up to 100. I think we're basically back to normal. Let's put clouds back on to fancy. There we go. Those are all the things you can change. Okay, <laughs> 32 frames per second as that loaded in. And let's just double check this. So 44 frames per second. You can see the difference. 33, 42, 39. Here we go. 40, 35. It's not dropping quite as far as it was before. Maybe because we've already uh, loaded up some of these chunks. So 29. You can see the difference there. And you can see the jerkiness in the screen. It went down as low as the 20s there. Right. I'm going to pause the video here. We're going to go and take a look at some mods and uh, we'll see how much of a difference they make. Okay then folks, I am back. I have installed Fabric and I've installed a single mod called Sodium. I'll leave a link to Sodium in the description below and I'll also leave a link to a video of how to install Fabric and Fabric mods. Up in the top left hand corner, you can see my frames per second, 240 at the moment. And if we just hit escape and go into options, video settings, you can see this has now changed. This is the uh, this is the sodium mod and we've got distance to 12 quality to fabulous and fancy for everything else. Entity distance up at 100. So basically very similar to that first test we did where we got our frame rate as low as 20 frames per second as we loaded up this particularly hilly area round here. And you can see I'm struggling to get this to drop below i mean it went down to about 167 there but broadly speaking it's incredibly smooth and we're around about 200 frames per second which is insane now imagine that difference if you're on a pc that started off at one frame per second that's how big a difference this thing makes it's massive so yeah 240 as we fly around here struggling to get that to go lower if we hit escape and go into our video settings we go to uh to 12 chunks there. We don't want to change anything in there, but we're going to change these down to fast. In fact, we'll turn clouds off. So that's fast, fast. Decrease that, lower the entity distance. There we go. We're going to leave performance as is. We don't need to mess with that. And we're going to hit apply, done, and escape out. I mean, 200 frames per second, 250. I mean, we were pretty high anyway with this PC, but again, this would make a massive difference. I mean, struggling to get this one to go below 200 frames per second now, which is just insane, the difference, just by installing the mod. And it doesn't really have any impact on the game as well. Nothing, certainly nothing that you should notice in day-to-day -day playing of Minecraft. So that mod was Sodium, folks, and those were the settings. So in Escape, Options, Video Settings. If we lower this down to 4 now, the render distance, 
Let's just have one quick look at that because that's the one that makes the big difference. If you're loading up far less, if we carry 400 frames per second, I can't remember what that was before, if I'm being honest, but 400 frames per second, that is smil silky smooth. That is bedrock Minecraft smooth, 400 frames per second. That's absolutely stunning. And I personally wouldn't want to play with four frames per second, but like I say, if you're on a PC where it's just struggling to power it, then that's something you should look at insane so that's how you can improve your frames per second folks if you are looking for an amazing strange uh, an amazing minecraft server to play on then check out my discord links in the description below there'll be a link in the top right hand corner as well there is a free to play on minecraft survival server it's on 1.18.1 and it's brilliant come join the discord if you enjoyed the video consider giving it a like that tells youtube it's a great video that more people can watch and find useful and consider subscribing to the channel as well anyway folks i'm Abfielder. That's all I have time for. Goodbye.